Hi, this is just showing you how to do um, an SSD and 8 gig RAM upgrade on the HP MB Sleekbook. Now, this is the AMD version. If you have the Intel i5, you will need to have a little read up as it has a 32 gig SSD cache um, set up with RAID with the hard drive. So, just have a little read on Google before you attempt that. Now, what you're going to need is it has got 6 gig of RAM, but I had an 8 gig kick lying around. I want to use the same RAM. So, I've got that sat there ready to go in. I've got my SSD. I've already cloned the drive. Um, used it by USB 3, took about half an hour, which is quite good. Just a little Phillips screwdriver, something small, and some kind of pick to get it open. It is quite easy to open, so we'll show you that quickly. All right, now you need to flip it over. Um, I've already removed the screws, so remove all the screws. There's nothing under any of these sticky pads, so don't worry about that. Now you just start at the front, it's very easy to get open actually, but just take your time with it. Just uh, prop it up a bit. And just use the pick to find a spot you feel comfortable with and... And just run it across in between the red and the black. It doesn't want to come off this time. Just hear it click as you work work your way across on it. And there you go. And it will just you just lift it from the front as soon as you popped it on the front. It will pop up completely. Okay, so we'll start with the RAM upgrade. Take the old chips out. Now this will take up to 16 gig of RAM, um, 8 gig should be plenty but I will be giving it a 16 gig upgrade in the near future so check back for a video on that, see the performance increase, now hard drive is located down here near the battery, there's 4 screws that need to be removed. As you can see it's all attached with a cord here, the hard drive. Just be careful with it. Unplug that. And then remove the caddy. Now what I would suggest is, I'm going to do the full upgrade now because I've tested that it's work, is just to put it in and then open the Pro Book with the screen facing down and turn it on to check that it works um, to make sure your clone has worked just saves you a bit of time really rather than putting the whole thing back together and um, then your drive doesn't work happens sometimes so just remove the drive from the caddy it's another four screws SSD back in the caddy, put the screws back in.
is a little tricky. It's just um, foil. It's not like a metal caddy you find in some laptops. It's just a piece of cooling foil. Um, goes around the drive. Now, if you have any issues at all with doing this upgrade, the best thing to do is I always find HP laptops. Is just go on their website, search your laptop. Um, it's generally in the support section. They actually um, have a service manual for all their laptops, um, which is very useful if you've got something that you're finding a bit hard to get into. Um, I'll show you how to do it and say what tools you need and stuff. So, any problems, just get, log on to HP. Right, reconnect the drive. Now again, I would test this just to make sure it works. Like I said, screen back. If you get a black screen, that means you haven't inserted your RAM chips right. Um, I'm pretty confident I've put them all in good. So get your back plate. And it just clicks back on. Put your screws in. I'm gonna do that in a minute, but just wanna show you the uh, first boot. As you can see, it's a very quick boot there. 